What's up, y'all? Welcome to Pandorama. Today, we're going to be answering the top Googled questions about Chinese people. These are things people actually search for on Google, and we're answering them. Question number one: Link. Do Chinese people bow? We don't bow in daily life. Like if you bow to your friend, you probably look like a weirdo. There are only two occasions where people actually bow.、Uh, one is wedding. The other is funeral. Do Chinese people celebrate Christmas? Yes, we do, but for a different reason. Christmas in China is more like a romantic day for couples. I know in the U.S. you celebrate Christmas Eve with your family, so the hotel occupancy rate is really low. But for some reason, the hotels are always fully booked on that night. Hmm, wondering why. You'll still see Christmas symbols like Santa and Christmas trees. Sometimes even gift giving, but. It's very much an imported concept over there. Like we didn't have the day off of work or anything like that. It's more just a reason to decorate and ask for a fancy dinner from your boyfriend. Of course. Do Chinese people go bald? Of course. Chinese men suffer from male pattern baldness just like everyone else. Why? If not, why do you think Jackie Chan will be in this commercial? Baldness happens in everyone, right? Link, Link, what's happening to you? Next question, Link. Do Chinese people tan? Are Chinese people physically able to get tan? Of course, but is that preferable? Not really, especially among the girls. Interestingly, in China, paleness in women is considered more attractive. Chinese women will go as far as to carry umbrellas around with them during the day, so that they don't get even the slightest sunburn on them. In fact, there's an interesting term in Chinese that's called bai fu mei. It literally means pale, rich, and beautiful. And this is something that is supposed to describe the ideal Chinese female partner. So bai, pale, being one of the three most important qualities of a partner. Should give you a sense of whether they're interested in going tanning or not. The pinnacle of success for Chinese men is become a CEO and you marry a bai fu mei. Next question: Do Chinese people believe in God? Interesting question. In fact, we made an entire video all about that. Check it out. And do Chinese people speak English? Right now, English is being taught all over China in schools. There are tons of people who learn English all throughout their education for up to 15 or 20 years. Some of them are very good English speakers. Some people prefer not to speak English at all. 15 to 20 years from now, China is going to be one of the largest English-speaking countries in the world, or maybe become the largest English-speaking country. Do Chinese people have dogs as pets? Dogs, cats, chickens, ducklings, turtles, guinea pigs, fish—you name it. In fact, I've had turtles and ducklings when I was a kid. Now I have two cats. The increase of pet ownership in China is also indicative of the growing middle class: extra money, extra time, and time for pets. Yes, time for their mao haizi or furry children, as Chinese people refer to their pets. If you're interested to know more about dogs in China and specifically about the consumption of dog meat in China, we did make a video about that too. Check it out right up here. Thanks for tuning in. There's the like button. There's the subscribe button. You already know what to do. Go ahead and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this video. We'll see you in the next one. Zai Jian. <laughs>